Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to create the web application using our gamepad to use our phone as a controller for this app or game. So I'm going to start opening my terminal and uh, I'm going to go to my projects folder, tutorials. Okay, uh, so first of all, I forgot to mention, so you need to have a Visual Studio Code installed, Node.js npm, view, and quasar. I'm going to use quasar because it's pretty uh, handy. So you can do it with view or with angular or whatever, but I'm using quasar that is a framework on top of view. So um, let's get started. Uh, if, if you want to download quasar, you can go to quasar.dev and get uh, getting started and follow the instructions. So yeah. Uh, we are going to create this uh, npm create quasar. So I uh, would CLI. Let's go. Yeah, uh, the project is going to be called Arcane Pad Web Template. Yes, with three uh, TypeScript feeds. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are my options. You can do it however you want. So, now it's going to create the project for us. Um, I'm going to leave the template here on the Arcane Docs. You go to get started on web, getting started. You can access the, the template. This is a different one, but I'm going to update it. Also, there is the I'm going to leave the link to the GitHub repo. So let's see if this got created. Yes. Okay. Let's open it. Our game path. Uh, web template. Open with code. Great. So now. Um, I'm going to do a few things. Main I'm going to go to the main layout. I'm going to delete everything because this is some boilerplate that I don't really use a lot. Yeah, I'm going to delete everything here on main layout. Then on index page, pretty much the same. Delete everything and just leave a text index view. Okay, and um, yeah, with this let's let's run our project. Oh, uh, I'm forgetting a few things. Uh, let's go to Quasar config. Yeah, here on config, uh, we are going to make it dark through and open false and HTTPS for uh, true. Sorry, it was true by default. It's okay, yeah, it was commented. Okay. So now we can run and now we copy uh, the URL. Don't use the local host, it's going to give you troubles. Uh, use one of these or you can use 127.0.0.1 if you prefer. So yeah, let's go to our gamepad, open our app. And now we go to developer menu, uh, write HTTPS 127.0.0.1. This is like a, a number that is going to work on any PC. It's your, it's lo your local um, IP. So, and then the port 9000. If there is a different port, you need to put that different port. So yeah, now we are going to press play. And as you can see, our application is running here on our PC, but on the phones is uh, not found, and that's because we haven't created the path. So um, we are going to create the the path view. <coughs> so let's see, index page. Uh, yeah, we're going to duplicate this page, path, um, 
path page. Yeah, let's just call it path page. And uh, now we are going to go to routes. And here we are going to create a new route. It's going to be path page. The path is path. Has to be this path, the path, yes or yes, like it's going to look for this by default. So now we're going to press play, and as you can see, it's loading our path view. So we want it to be portrait for whatever reason. So I'm going to go to app. Uh, okay, we are not even initializing our client yet, I forgot. So on mount. We're going to initialize our client arcane dot. Oh yeah, we haven't even installed the library yet. Forgot. So we're going to install our library. npm install arcane path web sdk. We need to restart our uh, reload our window in order to detect the library. So we reload our window with Control Shift P and reload. Um, and now, yeah, we can do arcane. It's detecting the library, so we import it. Dot init. Perfect. And now uh, here we are going to initialize it with some params. So new arcane init params. See uh, path orientation portrait. And now, as you can see on our phones, it's uh, going to initialize with portraits mode. You can see it, it rotated, now it is here. So that's cool. We also want to show the, the mouse, because if we go to our app, as you can see, it's hiding our, our mouse. It's doing it partially, but yeah. It's, uh, by default, our gamepad hides the mouse. Uh, so we don't want to hide the mouse in this application. So let's restart, and now as you can see, it's not hiding my mouse. That's cool. So, so yeah, now we are going to uh, do a few more things. Let's see. In, the, in our index page, we're going to create uh, uh, to show our paths. Our uh, so I actually need to check where it is called. Let me see one second. Index page. Yeah, on mount we are going to do. Um, let's see where is it. This thing. Uh, yeah, we are going to create an array of paths. How to import all these, <coughs> and uh, now we are going to copy yeah this init function. I'm going to uncomment this uh, update. Yeah, uh, add imports. Okay, we are adding all those imports. So this what is doing is on iframe path connect we just uh, if the path exists we don't do anything if the path doesn't exist we we add it to our array and on this connect we remove the 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 path from our array so now we can show our paths so we are going to restart our app And it is not detecting any paths for some reason. Let's see why is that? Oh, 
Oh, because we are not initializing <laughs> this variable, this function. So, on mount, we are going to to call our init function, and now it should work. Okay, we have these these two paths. Uh, we're going to make it more readable. So, we're going to to show just the um, for v for path in paths, and we're going to show the path dot user. So now you can see we have uh, our two users uh, with their names, their desired color, and they are their IDs. These users are the two paths. Um, so, so yeah, let's just show the only the name. Yeah. And what else can we do? So we are going to create a, a player component. Let's go to components. New file player dot view and here we are going to bring this stuff. Um, okay, before we continue, I forgot something very very important, and this uh, we are going to show only our application if it has initialized. That's super important. So um, we are going to create the variable uh, ref is initialized was to false and we are going to say uh, we're going to make this async and um, this is very important because uh, if we don't do it this way it's going to try to um, add events before we have initialized our app and it's going to give problems so uh, we're going to await arcane dot initialize client arcane client initialize and here we are going to say is initialize dot value equals to true and we are going to show this v if is initialize okay so yeah that was a little detail I forgot to mention so now we continue with our player yeah, I'm going to bring this uh, thing, this player here, to create our player component. Um, get script lang ts uh, setup. Okay, and uh, we're going to define the props. I always forgot this part, so I'm going to look at the tutorial. Um, player component. Okay, here we are going to define the props and all missing imports. So here we have the path directly. So we don't need to to do it before. We are going to do it outside here. So now on index page we are going to import this component player and v4 path in paths and we pass the path as a prop so now we have the same thing let's refresh the two players uh, we need to separate them somehow um, yeah I'm going to do this on a div actually Now they are separated. Great. So now we are going to um, put the color. For example, um, we are going to use the the user color. So style equals to um, <coughs> background color. User dot sorry dot user dot color and we need to add the hash to, to the start as you can see it is adding the colors uh, let's make it only a border border two pixels solid yeah right, like that is great so I'm going to make this um, a grid 
or a flex, sorry. Nah, the grid is okay with 50-50. Okay, this should be the parent container. Yeah. So. Get template columns. So yeah, like that. Now we have our two um, paths here. Um, what else can we do? Let's see. Um, yeah, so now we are going to send uh, an event from our path to our viewer. So let's go to the path page and uh, we're going to create a button and on click we are going to send an event this is this button is going to be a jump size excel okay and outline as well okay <coughs> as you can see here it is the button on our fonts and on click we are going to say arc uh, arcane okay it's not importing it we need to do it here maybe and import okay on click arcane dot message dot emit new arcane base base event okay it, it doesn't suggest there on the template so we need to write it here and it's going to suggest the import um yeah and now say we pass the name jump oh, what else is missing here to oh yeah it's not an emit we are going to say emit to views so we are going to say to our view this is the view so we are going to the um, this is confusing actually the naming so I'm going to change it so the index page is the the viewer and the path page is the game path so like this is I think we understand it better so these are the game pads and this is the view so so yeah let's continue so we are going to emit our arcane uh, jump uh, arcane base 7 jump and we have to listen for it on our player so or when it, whatever we want so yeah on mounts I'm going to say Pad dot on jump and we can do something so we are going to create a, a jump count is this not Okay, we are going to import it manually because sometimes it doesn't work the auto import so yeah on jump we are just going to say um, jump count dot value plus plus and we are going to say to show the, the jumps jumps or well jump count jump count yeah like this seems like this app crash for some reason okay, let's open it again and, and yeah let's go so now if we jump you can see it is increasing the number and on this as well so if you do a hot reload like this for example I save now it is going to stop working because of how hot reload works like I need to investigate that more so just refresh uh, whenever you make changes refresh your your page again um, so yeah that's that's it with this now let's do something else 
we want to send an event to the pad. So we are going to, from our index, uh, our viewer, we are going to say um, where it is the index. Okay, here. Yeah, from our player, we are we want to uh, send an event. For example, on on. Uh, Okay, we are going to create a, a button first on attacked or be attacked or something like that. Click. So we have this this button. Well, I'm going to make it a, a button actually. Okay, be attacked. So when, when our player is attacked, we are going to send an event to our path. So, so at click, let's say uh, path dot vibrate for 100 milliseconds. So now we are. So now it should vibrate. For some reason, it is not vibrating. See what I'm doing wrong here. So this should be working, but for some reason it is not. See if I restart the app. Okay, yeah, uh, I need to restart the app. As you can see, maybe you can't hear, so I'm going to put like one second vibration. As you can see, this vibrating it is even moving. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So, so yeah, this is a built-in vibrate, but we could emit an event like pad.emit uh, attacker attacked. Uh, sorry, I, we need to create a new arcane base event. And we could send it like this, but I'm going to do it in another way. Um, so I can add params. So yeah, the name is uh, attacked and I'm going to add uh, damage, for example. Five. So we are going to listen. Uh, you could also create a class that inherits from Arcane Base Seven. That's the best way of doing it. Um, like this, for example. Um, class uh, attacks um, extends uh, Arcane Base Seven. We need the, our constructor, we pass the name, attacked, and whatever um, props like um, damage, five. Uh, sorry, this is a number, and we take the damage here. Damage, number, is the damage, what's to damage? So we could say, um, emit new attacks event I'm going to change the name to event and pass uh, 5 damage this is the actually the better way of doing it I'm sometimes I'm lazy so I just create the objects dynamically but this is the better way so let's do it that way <laughs> actually and also we can now reuse this event uh, if we put it on a models so we are going to create a models file, models.ts, and we are going to export this class. Export. Our, um, we need to import our arcane v7. Now we import this here. Uh, new attacked event. Um, and now we are going to listen for that event on our pad. So 
path page on mounts we want to say on attacks so arcane dot message dot on attacks we are going to listen to the attack event and this is a cool part of doing it in that way and is that we can now uh, import our object and type it so this object is going to be an attacks event so now we have uh, the damage and the name so this is pretty cool because <coughs> it is typed so yeah we are just going to alert to send an alert attack uh, uh, or taken damage uh, we are going to show the damage yeah like that so let's attack this and as you can see it's vibrating and it's saying taken damage 5 and the same with this ok that was pretty easy and pretty cool so I think that's it for now like I don't know if I'm forgetting something we could show the the player's name here like pad.arcane.pad.user.name so we're going to put it on an h3 username and an h5 actually it's too big yeah so so yeah I think for uh, beginning this is already uh, enough in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to um, how to use the the rotation of our phone the pointer to point to the screen and for example sh uh, shoot on, on control things so thank you for watching if you have any questions please go to our discord channel and I'll, I'll give you support so see you